Content Introduction In her past life, Lin Min was forced by her foster parents to marry her younger sister. She was unwilling to marry a disabled woman like this and sought help from her childhood sweetheart to help her escape marriage. However, she did not want to be betrayed by him and fell into a greater crisis. Opening her eyes again, she was reborn on the second day of her wedding. This time, she did not escape marriage. With her extraordinary medical skills, she cured the leg disease of the man who not only ignored her and abandoned him in her previous life, but also silently guarded behind her. Husband and wife are united, their benefits cut off gold. Those people owe her life, and in this lifetime, she will reclaim everything. Chapter 1 Rebirth You are listening at NovelFull.audio When Lin Min opened her eyes, she found herself tied up in a dilapidated wooden house. Hands and feet tied. She caught a strong smell of gasoline while breathing. Standing in front of her is her senior brother He Chi. He stared at her with a gloomy expression. Lin Min moved her hands and feet, and her eyes widened in fear. Senior brother, where is this? Who tied me up? The man didn't seem to expect her to wake up so early. His eyes under his golden glasses suddenly flashed a tense expression. He didn't speak. Lin Min struggled with her bound hands and feet and urgently shouted, He Chi, answer me, what's going on? She remembered that it was He Chi who said he wanted to take him to a big shot's doorstep for treatment, and without a doubt, she followed him onto the car. How could this be? He Chi's face was terrifying. He took a step forward and spoke coldly, Lin Min, don't blame me. You blocked Jingxu's path and made her lose everything she had. I can only get rid of you. The man with a gloomy expression looked at the woman sitting on the ground, looking panicked and spoke coldly. Lin Min's head roared, except. Get rid of me. Lin Min suddenly realized that her senior brother had tricked her out today on the grounds of going out to see a doctor, and was actually trying to kill her. He wanted to kill that snake and scorpion hearted woman for the sake of her. She couldn't accept it, senior brother He Chi could have done such a harsh thing to her. They are senior siblings of the same school for more than ten years. He Chi was so captivated by that woman that he lost his sanity. She looked horrified and said, Senior brother, are you going to kill me for Tang Jingxu's sake? Are you not afraid of being punished by heaven by doing this? Everything she has belongs to me, and she approached you to use you to monitor me. Do you know that she deceived you? So what? She said, as long as she kills you, she will be with me. He Chi had an almost abnormal grin on his face. No yes, no. Lin Min was hysterical and desperately struggled to break free. He Chi, you can't do this. You demon, I have no grievances or grudges against you. You let me go. No grievances or grudges. He Chi sneered, Lin Min, you're not wrong. What's wrong is that you appeared in our lives. Without you, everything in Jingxu would always be hers, and everything in me would be mine. Do you understand? What's yours and mine? Lin Min's mind was full of survival thoughts, and she didn't even understand the meaning of the last sentence from He Chi. She was just instinctively pleading, struggling, trying to escape from here. Unfortunately, everything is too late. He Chi's lighter ignited a small flame. Then, casually throw it away at the moment when she was engulfed by the raging fire, she had hallucinations, as if hearing Gu Jingchuan's voice. He was roaring, Lin Min, I'm here to save you. When Lin Min became conscious again, her headache was severe. She slowly opened her eyes, lifted her heavy eyelids, and then the back of the big red peony quilt caught her eye. She blinked and then saw a simple wooden wardrobe next to the Kong, with a big red letter of happiness pasted on it. Happy character. Is this a wedding room? She looked at the black rafters on the roof in confusion. His expression was dull. She didn't die. The fire just now didn't kill her. How could it be? Is it shining again? She turned her head mechanically, 
and then a handsome and sickly face caught her eye off guard. Seeing the other person's appearance, Lin Min was surprised and rubbed against the Kong to sit up, her eyes open like copper bells, unbelievable looking at him. Gu Jingchuan. How could it be? How could she sleep on the same Kong with Gu Jingchuan, or in a wedding room? She had a brief marriage with Gu Jingchuan, but it was all over a decade ago. Did she dream of marrying Gu Jingchuan again? Because of this cognition, Lin Min pinched her face hard, and a genuine pain came. Reminding her, this is not a dream. She looked around the so. Called wedding room, and the scene before her coincided with a scene that was shrouded in dust in her memory. She stared at the man sleeping on the other end of the Kong with a mysterious expression on her face, lost in thought. He slept soundly, breathed evenly, and showed no signs of waking up. He carefully raised his hand and touched his face. Warm. She looked around the cottage again, as well as the man on the Kong. Then, he fiercely pinched the back of his hand. It's not a dream, everything is real. Has she been reborn? When this thought came to mind, Lin Min eagerly scrutinized the room, wanting to confirm that her inner understanding was correct. A few seconds later, her gaze fell on the torn calendar hanging on the wall, with the top page of the calendar prominently reading August 6, 1992. On August 6, 1992, it was her and Gu Jingchuan's big day of celebration. Lin Min felt a slight pain on her forehead due to excessive emotional excitement. She reached out and touched her forehead, feeling something like gauze. She looked out the window at the newly rising red sun. With an answer in her heart, she was reborn on the second day of her marriage to Gu Jingchuan in 1992. Back then, because her parents forced her to replace her sister Lin Jiao married Gu Jingchuan, a man who was half paralyzed. On her wedding night, she hopelessly bumped into a wall and broke her forehead. However, Gu Jingchuan also opposed the marriage and caused a scene at home, only to be given sleeping pills by his family. Lin Min looked at the sickly face of the man on the Kong, with mixed feelings in her heart. She cautiously reached out her hand and touched his cheek again, the real touch of her skin making her heart truly complex and indescribable. At this moment, she heard a sound of unlocking outside the door. Immediately after, the wooden door panel was slowly pushed open by someone from the outside. Then, half of the middle dot aged woman's head poked in. Lin Min, can you stop causing trouble? I beg you, my family Jingchuan will definitely be cured in the future. The doctor said that his injury is only temporary, and our family is actively treating him. The plainly dressed woman huddled at the door, pleading and saying a lot. Lin Min looked at her familiar and unfamiliar face from memory, her expression relaxed. Gu Jingchuan's mother. A woman who has only had a mother dot in dot law daughter dot in dot law relationship with her for two days. Seeing Lin Min staring blankly at her without speaking, Wang Guixiang walked over cautiously and said pleasantly, Xiao Min, breakfast is cooked. Shall I go and bring it to you? And your forehead, I'll ask Jing Ming to buy some trauma medicine on the street and come back to wipe it for you. Stop making trouble, okay? Lin Min didn't answer her mother dot in dot law's words. She raised her hand, pointed to the man sleeping next to her, and asked Wang Guixiang, what's going on with him? He hasn't woken up yet. From when she woke up to now, at least half an hour had passed. Outside the window, birds were chirping, and it was already dawn. However, he was sleeping soundly with no signs of falling asleep. Was it like in a previous life that I was actually given sleeping pills? Wang Guixiang didn't expect that Lin Min would take the initiative to ask her son. A hint of surprise flashed across her face, and then her eyes flickered slightly. She quickly replied, Oh, Jingchuan, he'll wake up in a while. Chapter 2 Newly Married You are listening at NovelFull.audio Seeing Lin Min's emotion stable and calm at this moment, Wang Guixiang felt a lot more at ease and said as if pleasing, You wait, I'll go get you a meal. When Gu Jingchuan's mother went out, 
a few people were crowded outside the door listening to the commotion. When they saw Wang Guixiang coming out, they quickly asked, Mom, what's going on? Are you still making trouble? Do you want to tie her up? Wang Guixiang replied, No trouble, it looks quite calm. I even asked your second brother. Wang Ying Gwen, the eldest daughter. In. Law, had a strange aura of yin and yang. Calm. That must be the calm before the storm, holding back the big trick. Gu Jingxiu looked at her displeased and said, Sister in law, how are you talking? Wang Ying hugged her chest with both arms and sneered lightly, I was wrong. Who in the family would a girl with sound limbs marry someone as disabled as the second child? You guys, spend so much money, just wait to float in the water. Sister-in-law, I don't want you to say that about my second brother. Old Si Gu Jingqi stared at her. So what should I say? It's already a certain era, and you're still in high spirits. I see, this time you must have lost both your people and money. If you don't believe it, we'll see. As she spoke, Wang Ying swaggered towards the western house where she lived. Ingzi, wait for me, Gu Jinghui said, catching up with his wife like a bug when he saw her unhappy, Mom, hasn't my second brother woken up yet? Gu Jingqi asked. Wang Guixiang's expression was solemn. No, did we feed him too much sleeping pills yesterday? Is there anything that might happen? Not much, just two pieces. The doctor said it's within a safe range, and I'll probably wake up in the afternoon. I'll tell you both, no matter how much your sister in law makes a fuss or scolds you harshly, do you have to endure knowing it for your second brother? Wang Guixiang urged Gu Jingqi and Gu Jingxiu. Mom, I got it. I'll go serve her a meal. Wang Guixiang entered the kitchen, while Gu Jingqi and Gu Jingxiu stayed outside the East Room, their expressions complex. Jingqi, do you think it's too inhumane for our family to do this? Gu Jingxiu looked at the fourth brother with a serious expression. Sai, Gu Jingxi sighed, his green cheeks filled with a solemn expression. Return to my own room do homework intermittently. Lin Min was still sitting on the Kong, staring at Gu Jingchuan's sleeping face in a daze. She has been awake for at least half an hour now, but she still cannot believe that she has truly been reborn. Moreover, it was reborn on the second day after marriage. She died so suddenly that she couldn't accept the current situation for a moment. She still can't believe it. She went to a good clinic and was burned to death by that refined senior brother. For the woman Tang Jingshu. At this moment, Lin Min suddenly remembered He Qi's last thought. Provoking words. No, he's not just for Tang Jingshu, but also for himself. Anyway, being able to come back to life is always a blessing from heaven. She needs to cherish it. She took a deep breath and her gaze fell on the face of the sleeping man on the Kong. In fact, it was her sister Lin Jiao who had a previous engagement with Gu Jingchuan. After hearing that Gu Jingchuan was injured, Lin Jiao insisted on withdrawing from the marriage. However, the 3,000 yuan dowry given by the Gu family to the Lin family had already been used to build a new house, and the family could not afford to withdraw such a huge sum of money. Of course, they could not spit out what they had eaten. So, the family is constantly changing people. Let her marry Gu Jingchuan. She certainly disagrees with it. Leaving aside Gu Jingchuan's physical condition, the key is that she already has a crush on her own. What she didn't know was that when Lin Jiao learned that Gu Jingchuan was injured, she began to hook up with her partner Li Qingming. I just want Li Qingming to dump her and make her, who is disheartened, accept the arrangements of her family. Li Qingming couldn't resist Lin Jiao's temptation and successfully cheated. Foster father Lin Jinshan and young mother Li Qiumei took advantage of her sadness and sadness to pack her directly onto Gu Jingchuan's Kong. Lin Mingang cleared his memories in his mind when the door was pushed open again. Gu Jingchuan's mother, holding a bowl in her hand, walked in trembling again. She followed her steps and moved towards the Kong. Xiaomin, drink some kanji. You must be hungry. 
Lin Min was already feeling very hungry. She reached out to take it and said calmly, thank you. When Wang Guixiang came in, she was already mentally prepared with a bowl on top of her head, but she didn't expect her to be so calm. Wang Guixiang stared at her with a mysterious expression on her face, expressing that she couldn't believe her eyes and ears. In her anxiety, Lin Min picked up the spoon and scooped the rice porridge from the bowl into her mouth. Soon, half a bowl of kanji was destroyed by her. She lifted the blanket and planned to get off the con. I'll go put the bowl, she said, no need, no need, I'll do it. Wang Guixiang is still guarding her, afraid to let her step out of the room. Lin Min felt a bit like going to the bathroom. She swept around the wedding room and there was no separate bathroom. There was a bucket on the ground, and she suddenly remembered that it was for her to use as a relief. Well, I want to go to the restroom. Xiaomin, you can go up here. I'll take it out and pour it out later. Lin Min, dot. She said, I won't run, you don't have to guard against me. I won't leave even if I hurry. Wang Guixiang didn't answer, and an embarrassed yet polite smile rolled out on her face. All right, I'll come back later. Wang Guixiang went out and closed the door again. Lin Min turned her head again and looked at Gu Jingchuan, who had no signs of waking up yet. She reached out her hand, lifted a corner of the blanket, touched his wrist, and placed her finger on his wrist to give him a pulse. A few seconds later, she collected I returned my hand. His condition is much better than when she followed her master to treat him in her previous life. Although my legs are not very mobile, my entire body function is not that bad because I have just been injured. In his past life, when they saw him, his legs were already able to stand up, but due to long-term medication and treatment, his internal organs were greatly damaged, especially his liver and kidney function, resulting in severe losses. It was also at that time that she learned that his injury was not an accident, and there was a hidden truth behind it. Lin Min got up from the Kong and went to pull the curtains. The sunlight shone through the glass windows adorned with auspicious words, adding a touch of warmth to the simple yet cozy room. She walked around the house twice, looking at their wedding house. Although the house was not very big, it could be seen that it had been carefully decorated. She sat on the Kong, staring absent-mindedly at the man sleeping peacefully on the Kong. His skin is cold white, very thin, and his hair is sharp and straight. Although his face is thin, his facial features are firm and handsome. Outside, the Gu family members, who couldn't hear any movement inside, were restlessly discussing at the door. Why is the room so quiet? She didn't cry or make a fuss. Would she be plotting against my second brother? This. Gu's father's face suddenly changed. How about I go in and take a look? Wait a little longer. Alas, this is a crime. If we had known she didn't agree to marry Jingchuan, we should have left the marriage early. Gu Deqing squatted in the corner smoking a pipe, with a worried expression on his face. He admitted that the Lin family members said they had looked at the birth dates of Lin Min and Gu Jingchuan, and their birth dates were even more compatible. When Lin Min was also very willing to marry his son, they were indeed moved. I specifically asked Mr. Yin and Yang to take a look again. The eight characters of Gu Jingchuan and Lin Min really match. They even felt that it was because of the clash between Lin Jiao and Jing Chuan's eight characters that something happened just a few months after their engagement. Chapter 3 I disagree with this marriage. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. So, if he could marry a girl who matches his eight characters, his family's Jing Chuan's body might recover soon. Therefore, we agreed to the Lin family's proposal for a replacement. But they never expected that this girl would never agree to marry their son, and yesterday she was also escorted by the Lin family. Last night, there was still a scene of crashing into the wall. My son originally disagreed with this marriage and was given sleeping pills by them. The girls and people were causing trouble, it was like flying chickens and dogs. They were already scared and afraid of losing their lives. 
Gu Diching made a decision in his heart last night, intending to send Lin Min back to the Lin family if he still causes trouble today. This is a new society, and it is unethical for them to arrange marriages like this. Unexpectedly, upon waking up, Lin Min was so calm and obediently ate breakfast. Is it true, as the eldest daughter in law said, the calm before the storm? As the sun rose high, the man on the calm woke up leisurely. He opened his eyes and glanced at the sunlight shining through the glass window on the con. He instinctively narrowed his narrow phoenix eyes and then lifted them to block the sunlight. Looking slightly sideways, the face of a young woman with gauze on her forehead caught his eye with coldness. That face is the person he once thought about day and night, keeping in his heart. Gu Jingchuan's expression was slightly stunned. Looking at her with a dazed gaze. Lin Min noticed the man on the con waking up and looked sideways. Four eyes facing each other. For a moment, no one spoke. The air in the room is silent, and the sound of needles falling can be heard. After staring at each other for a moment, Lin Min suppressed the palpitations in her heart and broke the silence, Are you awake? Gu Jingchuan's eyes met those of a girl who was as bright as stars, and he momentarily lost consciousness. How could it be her? Isn't it Lin Jiao who is engaged to him? How could you be here? Lin Min shyly lowered her head and said, Of course, you were married by the Gu family through open matchmaking. Was she married openly? Gu Jingchuan's expression became even more dull. He seemed to understand something, but in just a moment, he concealed the bright light from his eyes and looked gloomy. Lin Min, I didn't agree to marry you. It was my family who acted recklessly to welcome you through. I'm sorry, our marriage doesn't count. You can leave, he said Lin Min, dot. In his past life, the first thing he said to her after waking up was also this hurtful sentence. At that time, she thought Gu Jingchuan was disappointed when he opened his eyes and saw that the bride had changed. She was already forced into marriage and felt humiliated. Compared to Gu Jingchuan's physical condition, what she cares more about is that he is pretending to be her sister, and he is still driving her away like a red fruit. After being reborn, she knew how difficult and heartbreaking his words were at this moment. The person he liked sat in front of him and became his bride, but he pushed her out because he didn't want to drag her down. She, who was young and innocent in her past life, did not understand his deep love. At that time, she just felt humiliated by him. Why was she despised by a disabled person? With the encouragement of her sister in Law Wang Ying, she really ran away. She looked at him and said, I know you're afraid that your health won't be good enough to drag me down, but since I've already married you, I'm your daughter. In law. If you let me go now, I'll be a second married woman. Who would marry me again? We have only been married for one day and there is no real marital relationship, which will not affect your marriage. Why doesn't it affect? At least we slept on the same con during the wedding night, and then, look at you. Lin Min pretended to be shy and glanced at Gu Jingchuan's bed. Gu Jingchuan caught her shy gaze, lifted the blanket, and saw himself stripped of nothing, a dark red color spreading from his ears to his neck. This is definitely done by his two bastard brothers. I said, our marriage doesn't count, you go. She glanced at her, and Gu Jingchuan's tone had a hint of anger and embarrassment. Lin Min watched as he spoke those hurtful words out of sync to avoid dragging her down. Tears welled up in her eyes as she said, I'm not leaving, I'm already married to you. Where can I go? If I go back to my mother's house, they'll break my legs. Gu Jingchuan saw the woman sitting on the con crying, and his heart seemed to be restrained by iron claws, causing severe pain. The girl he once longed for, now sitting next to him, became his bride. But he is no longer qualified to be with her. He is already disabled and cannot drag her down. Moreover, she also knew that marrying him was not voluntary. The meaning in what she just said was very clear, she just didn't dare to go back to her mother's house. Get lost. His voice trembled as he shouted out the word. Gu Jingchuan, 
what do you mean? Gu Jingchuan lowered his eyes and spoke decisively, my meaning is very simple. Marrying you is not my own will. We have no name or substance between us. You are both free and innocent. Please leave. Lin Min watched with a serious expression, I'm telling you, I won't leave. I'm the wife of your Gu family who married openly. This is not only my residence, but also my home. Let's go. I don't love you, and I don't need your sympathy and pity. Gu Jingchuan was hysterical. But I love you, she whispered. In her past life, she had already fallen in love with him. She knew that he also loved her. The dispute between the two inside finally alarmed the Gu family outside. Gu's mother quickly opened the door and the family rushed in together. Seeing Gu Jingchuan's gloomy face, crimson eyes, and particularly excited emotions. Lin Min sat on the Kong, sobbing with grievances. What's wrong? Jing Chuan. As the Gu family members entered, Lin Min tearfully filed a complaint, he wants to unilaterally terminate our marriage, saying that I was forced on him by your family, and he doesn't like me. What? Upon hearing Lin Min's words, the Gu family members looked at her with strange eyes. Isn't she the one who caused the most trouble? The attitude of the daughter. In. Law here is a bit strange. Did you break your head last night and have a brain problem? Old lady, take your daughter. In. Law to our house to comfort and comfort us. Let me have a word with Jing Chuan. Gu Mu and Gu Jingxiao went to Lin Min's in law's room. Gu Diqing stayed behind to advise him, Jing Chuan, stop making trouble and treat the girl well. She is the one we married to save your life. Help. Gu Jingchuan sneered, can she practice medicine or spell? Can she save my life? The master said, if you get married, the new lady will bring you joy and your health will definitely improve. Gu Diqing pleaded in his voice, anyway, let's give it a try, okay? Dad, this is unfair to her. I know, but her family has agreed to this marriage, and she has also accepted many dowries from my family. Lin Min has also accepted you. Our family will definitely treat her well in the future. Gu Jingchuan looked out the window with desolate eyes and a resolute tone, I don't recognize this marriage. Let's see her off. Chapter 4 Second Wife Missing You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Gu Decheng looked helplessly at his tough son and said, You. On this side, Lin Min was dragged to the hall by her mother. In. Law. Xiaomin, what you just said is true. Are you really willing to spend time with my family in Jingchuan? Wang Guixiang asked excitedly. Lin Min nodded and said, I've figured it out. Marry the chicken and follow the chicken. That's really great, Xiaomin. With your words, our family will never forget your great kindness. Wang Guixiang happily took her hand and said, Xiaomin, what do you want to eat? I'll go make it for you. I'm not hungry, Lin Min said somewhat hesitantly. I want to go to the restroom. Okay, go ahead quickly. Wang Guixiang gave Gu Jingxiao a glance and said, Jingxiao, show your sister. In. Law the way. Gu Jingxiao understood and said, Sister in law, let me accompany you. The toilets in rural areas are all open. Air thatched pits, still in the backyard. What if she, as a sister. In. Law, had just used a trick to make them relax their guard and run away while using the toilet? Last night she was searching for life and death, she didn't believe she would suddenly change her mind. Gu Jingxiao was conflicted in her heart. As a woman, she sympathized with Lin Min, but from the perspective of her second brother, she also hoped that she could stay. She what if what the master said is true, can second brother recover? Lin Min naturally noticed Gu Jingxiao's concerns and nodded at her, thank you. After leaving the door, Gu Jingxiao closely followed her and walked towards the direction of the pit. Wang Ying, the daughter in law of Gu Jinghui, had a tantrum just now and was currently angry. Seeing that his daughter in law was unhappy, Gu Jinghui ran to the street to buy snacks for her. 
At this moment, Wang Ying came out of the room and saw Gu Jingxiu leading Lin Min towards the direction of the pit. She had a rough idea of what was happening in her mother. In Law's room just now, she thought that Lin Min was probably a trick to make the Gu family take it lightly and take the opportunity to run away. Since the Gu family arranged to marry Gu Jingchuan, her eldest daughter. In Law has become a transparent person. I didn't even bother with her pregnancy. Jingchuan's marriage is important. If Lin Min stays at the Gu family in the future, will there still be a place for her? Wang Ying. Of course, she didn't want to see Gu Jingchuan get married for another reason. With a shrewd blink of her eyes, she let out a sigh and pretended to fall and sat down on the ground. Gu Jingxiu heard Wang Ying's voice and turned around. I saw that my sister Dot in Dot Law seemed to have fallen. Sister in law, what's wrong with you? I fell, my stomach. Gu Jingxiu was so scared that she didn't pay attention to Lin Min hurry to help Wang Ying. Lin Min glanced at Wang Ying and saw the expression of success in her eyes. Lin Min knows exactly what Wang Ying's plan is. Wang Ying thought she was going to run away and helped her distract Gu Jingxiu. What a good sister. In law. Lin Min's eyes flickered with a hint of coldness, and she entered the thatched side on her own. Wang Ying had nothing to do here, but she put on a panicked and painful expression. Gu Jingxiu was frightened and didn't dare to delay, fearing that Wang Ying's stomach might have slipped. Run towards the front yard in panic, shouting while running. Gu Dicheng and Wang Guixiang are both in Gu Jingchuan's house, doing his ideological work. Gu Dicheng originally intended to say that since the other girl had not agreed to this marriage at all, it would be unacceptable. Although they believe that their son's health will definitely improve, the girl is unwilling and cannot be locked up. But now, Lin Min's attitude has changed significantly, and Gu Dicheng and Wang Guixiang see hope. Persuade the stubborn son to treat the girl well. Don't say anything about letting people leave. However, Gu Jingchuan's attitude was particularly tough. Despite his parents' hard work, he only had one sentence. Let Lin Min go. Gu Dicheng is really having a headache when he got engaged, he was able to handle it with just one phone call. Therefore, this marriage. He thought he could be the master of his son, but he didn't expect this kid. He twisted his head and couldn't even pull eight horses back. The negotiations have reached a deadlock, with a deadly silence in the room. Suddenly, Gu Jingxiu's panicked voice came from the yard. The old couple looked at each other and thought it was Lin Min who had run away. They ignored Gu Jingchuan, their expressions changed, and they ran away. As a result, Gu Jingxiu said that Wang Ying had fallen and was groaning in the yard, covering her stomach. Upon hearing that his pregnant daughter Dot in Dot Law had fallen, Gu Dicheng couldn't even speak nervously and quickly ran out. Wang Ying was still sitting on the ground, moaning and groaning. Wang Guixiang's soul was frightened and she ran over to squat down and touch her stomach. Ingzi, what's going on? Does your stomach hurt? Did you see any redness? As his husband, Gu Dicheng couldn't get close and was so anxious that he turned around. Where is Jing Hui? Where has Jing Hui died? Take Wang Ying to the hospital quickly. Mom, I don't know. Can you help me into the house? Wang Ying's voice trembled. If there's any mishap with the child, I won't live either. I'm sorry for the family. Ingzi, don't get excited. Let's go inside. Wang Guixiang went to help Wang Ying. I don't know if it was Wang Ying intentionally exerting force or something, but she didn't help. Jingxiu, come and help your sister. In. Law. Okay. Gu Jingxiu ran over and helped Wang Ying's other arm. Supported by his mother. In. Law and sister. In. Law, the father. In. Law hurriedly ran out to find Gu Jinghui, but no one cared about Lin Min who went to the thatched cottage. Wang Ying's mouth curved smoothly and entered the room. Helping her lie on the calm, Wang Guixiang checked again and didn't see any redness. She let out a deep breath. Wang Ying was afraid that Gu Jingxiu would go out, so he found an excuse to summon her and said, Jingxiu, 
could you please pour me a glass of water? Mom, you touch it again touch my stomach, is it really okay? I'm so worried, sob. The mother and daughter were frantically waiting on Wang Ying until Gu Dicheng brought back Gu Jinghui, who had gone to the street to buy snacks for Wang Ying, and planned to take him to the hospital. It was only then that Wang Ying finally calmed down. She estimated the time and thought that the woman should have run to the street. She just sat up from the Kong and said, Dad, Mom, don't worry. I shouldn't be in a big deal and don't need to go to the hospital. Gu Jinghui threw the plastic bag in his hand onto the table and ran to the edge of the Kong to look up and down at his wife. Ingzi, what's wrong with you? Wang Ying saw her own man coming back and sniffed in frustration, it's okay. Ingzi, take a break. If there's anything uncomfortable, be sure to tell us. Mom, I know now. You can go see my younger siblings, don't worry about me. Upon hearing Wang Ying mention Lin Min, Wang Guixiang regained her composure and looked at Gu Jingxiu, Jingxiu, where is your sister dot in dot law? Mom, my sister dot in dot law seems to have gone to the bathroom. Gu Jingxiu suddenly remembered that it was she who accompanied Lin Min to the restroom, but Wang Ying fell. She didn't care about Lin Min and ran to help Wang Ying. Go take a look, why hasn't there been any movement in so long? Wang Guixiang and Gu Jingxiu quickly ran to the toilet. Outside the simple thatched cottage set up in the backyard, Gu Jingxiu shouted loudly, Second sister dot in dot law, are you inside? Run in and take a look. Gu Jingxiu couldn't find Lin Min in the toilet. Wang Guixiang ran forward into the courtyard and shouted, Shopkeeper, come out quickly, it's not good. Their mother and daughter's first reaction was, did Lin Min run away? Gu Diching just breathed a sigh of relief because Wang Ying had nothing wrong, which would make him feel restless when he was shouted by the old woman in a soul-like voice. He came out of the room holding a pipe and said, so what? Second daughter dot in dot law, it seems like she's gone. Chapter 5 You and I have no marriage. You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. What are you saying? Upon hearing Wang Guixiang's words, Gu Diching's face changed and he was so shocked that the pipe in his hand fell off. Didn't he just be fine? Wang Ying lay on the Kong and heard the anxious voices of her parents-in-law in the yard, with a look of schadenfreude on her face. It's better to run away. Just make her run. Although Gu Jingchuan was deposed, she simply couldn't see him marry a wife. No one knows that when he came to the Gu family to meet Gu Jinghui, in fact, the first thing he saw was Gu Jingchuan. But he didn't give himself a single glance. If the Gu family members are anxious, they may become chaotic or subconsciously, they do not trust Lin Min. At this moment, when I heard that Lin Min was missing, my first reaction was not to look for her at home, but to run outside. Gu Jinghui accompanied his wife and heard the commotion outside, saying, I'll go take a look. I'm still lying on the Kong. What are you going to see? What if I feel uncomfortable again? Gu Jinghui, do you really understand who is the most important person? Gu Jinghui chuckled and said, of course it's you and the child. Gu Dicheng and Wang Guixiang were just running in a panic when suddenly a clear voice stopped them. From the moment Wang Ying pretended to fall, Lin Min saw through the woman's intentions. This is creating an opportunity for her to escape. In her past life, this woman helped her a lot. Even on Li Qingming's side, she let the wind go. At that time, Wang Ying saw her crying uncontrollably and pulled her to her own room, adding fuel to the fire. She said, as a woman, I completely understand your feelings. Marrying you, a disabled person who can't stand up, is something that no one can accept. I see you like this, and my heart feels as uncomfortable as a knife. Sigh, it's really a sin. Upon hearing Wang Ying's words, she seemed to see hope and begged her hard, sister-in-law, please help me, help me go. Report a letter, someone will come to save me Wang Ying helped her contact Li Qingming and covered her escape. She thought that the road ahead was waiting for her, but she didn't expect it to be a vast abyss. 
When he later met Gu Jingchuan, he told her that their family had originally planned to send her back to their mother's house, and she truly regretted her hasty choice. Not only did he put himself in a dangerous situation, but he also made Gu Jingchuan a laughing stock. Lin Min stayed in the kitchen, found some food, and then brought it to Gu Jingchuan. Yesterday was their day of great joy. It's a pity that one of them fell asleep after drinking sleeping pills, and the other was struggling for survival. She drank some kanji this morning. Gu Jingchuan should not have eaten yet. There was still rice left yesterday. Lin Min cut scallions, beat an egg, scrambled a plate of egg fried rice, and carried them into their wedding room. Gu Jingchuan was still sitting on the Kong, with an unattractive expression on his face. Especially when he heard Wang Ying fall outside and the noisy noise of his family, he became even more irritable. I couldn't hear Lin Min's voice for a long time, nor did I see her coming back. In his heart, there is a premonition. Perhaps she took advantage of the chaos and left. Thinking of this possibility, Gu Jingchuan's usually calm eyes flashed a hint of darkness. He gave a bitter smile, isn't that what he hopes for? But he clearly wanted her to leave with dignity, not in this way. When the yard calmed down, the door was pushed open. Gu Jingchuan lowered his eyes and looked out the window. I only thought it was my family who came in and didn't look back. With the footsteps of the newcomers, his eyes lit up slightly. He divided his steps distinguished who came in. He raised his head to the side. Lin Min's hair was messy, and she came over with a plate of eggs and fried rice. Gu Jingchuan's eyes, which had always been calm, once again fluctuated a bit. A clear hint of amazement flashed across his face. An inexplicable joy suddenly surged in his heart. You didn't eat in the morning, did you? Your mother and his wife are taking care of your sister. In law, so they may not have time to cook for you. This is leftover food from the kitchen. I stir fried it for a while, you can have some. Gu Jingchuan remained silent and looked at her with inquisitive eyes. Eat quickly. It's delicious. Gu Jingchuan didn't answer. Afraid of me poisoning. Lin Minbai glanced at him, I'll give you a taste first. Lin Min picked up a spoon and put a spoonful into her mouth. How's it going? Don't worry now. Gu Jingchuan struggled to turn his head and suppressed a certain emotional turmoil in his heart, saying, let's put down the food and go. Lin Min got angry and put down the plate with a snap. Gu Jingchuan, what's wrong with your mind? How many times have you kicked me away? Do you think you're doing this great? Lin Min sneered coldly, damn it, if I leave, how will I get married in the future? She roared fiercely at him, if anyone finds out that I left my sick husband with curly hair and ran away, I will definitely gain a reputation for being unjust. Who dares to marry a woman like me who flies alone in a disaster? If others say that I was laid off by you and couldn't get married, how bad am I? Even you, a sick person, don't look up to me and insist on sending me back to your mother's house. Gu Jingchuan never knew that she was so eloquent. All her words were spoken by her alone, leaving him speechless. Seeing Gu Jingchuan not speaking, Lin Min softened her tone and said, let's eat quickly and stop talking nonsense. I'll be sad. She turned the disc Z handed it to him again. Gu Jingchuan looked at her but still didn't answer. What's wrong? Do you want to help? She saw his strange expression and immediately remembered that his body was not convenient now, and the toilet was also inconvenient. It's been half a day since I woke up, is it urgent? As soon as she said this, Gu Jingchuan's face turned awkward. Lin Min's tone was natural, if you need to go to the bathroom, I'll help you. No, Gu Jingchuan took the egg fried rice from her hand and slowly ate it with a spoon. While he was eating, Lin Min opened the window and then swept the bed. Gu Jingchuan occasionally glanced at the busy woman on the Kong. At this moment, he felt that time was peaceful. But he knew very well that she didn't belong to him. At this moment, another scream echoed throughout the yard, breaking the peace between the two. 
Shopkeeper, my second wife is missing. Then came Gu Diching's restless and helpless voice. Then, the family was planning to chase after someone. Gu Jingchuan paused while eating and looked at the woman sweeping the Kong with a broom. Dot. Lin Min, dot. She fiercely threw down the broom that swept the Kong, glanced at Gu Jingchuan, and spoke softly, Don't your family know they came in to take a look? Then, he opened the door and walked out. Then I saw my father dot in dot law, mother dot in dot law, and sister dot in dot law all rushing towards the front door with a fierce roar. Grandpa Gu Diching's cloth shoes fell off his feet, took two more steps back, put on his shoes, and continued running. Where are you going? Lin Min stood on the steps of the East Room and shouted at the backs of a few people. Go find the second wife. Wang Guixiang instinctively replied. After speaking, she felt as if something was wrong. 18. Chapter 6. Guarding the Widow. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Just now, wasn't that the voice of my second wife? Lin Min has been married for less than a day, and everyone is still unfamiliar. They didn't react for a moment, and the voice coming from behind is that of their second daughter. In. Law. While Wang Guixiang paused, Gu Dicheng and Gu Jingxiu also stopped. The three of them turned around coincidentally. I saw the tall figure of the girl standing straight at the entrance of the East Room, looking at them. Xiaomin, you, didn't you run? As she spoke, Wang Guixiang realized that her question was too abrupt and quickly changed her tone. Jingxiu didn't find you in the thatched cottage just now, so she thought you had gone out. Lin Min smiled and said, where can I go if I'm not familiar with the place of life? A family of three standing at the entrance were both embarrassed and delighted, unsure how to answer the conversation. People didn't run. It almost scared them out of their wits. Lin Min's expression remained calm. I went to cook for Jing Chuan, but I didn't hear you calling me. The family looked at each other for a moment. Cooking for Jing Chuan. And her Jingchuan cry is not awkward, artificial, or unfamiliar. It seems to evoke the feeling of an old husband and wife. Second sister dot in dot law, you are really kind to my second brother. Gu Jingxiu regained her senses first and ran over to flatter Lin Min. Lin Min's tone remained calm, just make a meal. Wang Ying, who was lying on the Kong in the western room humming a song, was too busy to hear the sound of voices outside. But Gu Jinghui heard it. He looked at Wang Ying and said, My parents seem to be talking to my younger siblings. What? Wang Ying stopped singing out of tune and her face suddenly changed. I'll go see if the person has been found. Gu Jinghui went out and happened to hear that I was cooking for your second brother. Emotion, they didn't run away at all, but went to the kitchen. Gu Jinghui turned in again and said excitedly, My younger brother and sister didn't run at all. She's cooking for Jingchuan in the kitchen. Wang Ying remained calm and angrily pulled over the blanket, lying on the con. Fool, create such a good opportunity for her, don't seize it. She didn't believe that Lin Min's attitude would change so quickly. She must have been unsure and didn't dare to run away. It seems that we still need her sister dot in dot law to give her a helping hand. Wang Ying's eyes flashed with a sinister expression. Lin Min is very calm all day. At noon, Gu Jingchuan rode in a wheelchair to the yard to bask in the sun and read books. She sat next to him, organizing memories of her past life in her mind. Also make plans for future life. Her so dot called mother, Li Chiume, has not treated her well since she was young. She has to do all kinds of work at home, and when she buys an homework book during school, she gets beaten up. She took several school days off, but in the end, because she did well in her studies, she was able to barely make it to high school by reducing some of her tuition and miscellaneous expenses. Later on, Li Chiume refused to let her study and only provided for Lin Jiao. Unfortunately, Lin Jiao is a scumbag. Mud cannot support the wall. In her past life, 
After being saved by her master, she studied medicine while attending night school and obtained the long-awaited diploma. At present, she is already a married person. Without mentioning anything else, the most important thing is to quickly cure Gu Jingchuan. But Lin Min glanced at the man with a cold expression and didn't say a word to herself. How to make him believe that he can cure and cooperate with treatment obediently? This is a question. Lin Min stayed quietly at the Gu family for three days, and the Gu family members almost confessed to her as a bodhisattva. However, Gu Jingchuan remained indifferent to her, and even at night he refused sleeping on the same Kong as her, she pushed the wheelchair to sleep with Gu Jingchi without hesitation. It's a bit desolate for her to stay alone in an empty room despite being newlywed. However, Lin Min didn't really care. She knew that it was because Gu Jingchuan was honest and kind that he made such a move. He never wants to drag her down. I want her to step back and leave on her own. In his past life, Lin Min was too tired. The greatest ability, the greatest responsibility. Since her master retired, she has been seeing many patients who come to her every day. I don't even care about my personal matters. It was precisely because she devoted all her energy to work that she overlooked the pair of malicious eyes behind her. In the end, he was hooked up with his senior brother and that woman, taking her life. She wants to live a lifetime for herself. Those so called relatives, go to hell. While Gu Jingchuan was reading, Lin Min also took a book and sat side by side with him on a small stool to read. The sunshine of the mid-autumn festival is no longer so intense, shining warm and warm on the body. Extremely comfortable. Gu Jingchuan's indifferent gaze occasionally caught a glimpse of the woman beside him. Just quickly, I withdrew my gaze. I dare not look too much, afraid of getting caught up in it. Gu Jingchuan has treated her like this, and Lin Min is like a carefree person. She should eat, drink, and work hard. Wang Ying couldn't figure out Lin Min's thoughts either. There were many opportunities to escape in front of her, and this woman had no intention of seizing them. Wang Ying plans to have a good heart-to-heart -heart relationship with her as sister. In law. In the morning, when the rest of the family went to work in the field, she pulled Lin Min into her room and sat her down on the Kong. She looked at her with sympathetic eyes and sighed, Sisters, you've been wronged, marry a man like my second brother. Sigh. Lin Min lowered her head and secretly curled her lips. This woman finally lost her composure. She remained silent. Wait for Wang Ying's next words. Wang Ying sighed again and said, I am also a woman. I can understand your feelings. You said that I became pregnant six months after getting married and became a mother by the end of the year. With Jing Chuan like that, you may have to endure hardship. You will never be able to conceive your own child in this lifetime. Thinking about it, I feel sad for you. Jing Chuan dare not live in the same room with you, perhaps because he is afraid that you will despise him. Lin Min lowered her head even lower, still silent. With her performance, she let out a timely sob. Wang Ying heard her sobbing and smiled smugly. She patted the back of her hand and tentatively got to the point, I heard you have a crush. Lin Min nodded shyly. Wang Ying saw that she was willing to confide in him and said impatiently, Why don't you meet him? See him. Is that okay? Lin Min raised her head with excitement. Wang Ying patted the back of her hand and nodded repeatedly, Of course you can. If you see him tell him your innermost thoughts, maybe your mood will be better. Wang Ying said so, but she didn't think so in her heart. We've all met up with our good friends, why bother going back to Gu's house? Lin Min lowered her eyes with a dim expression and said, But my parents-in-law don't want me to go out. Can you trust your sister? In law? Wang Ying asked. Lin Min's small face was full of sincerity, and she nodded obediently. So, tell me your good friend's address, I'll go talk to him, and then tomorrow I'll take you out and say we'll go buy some things for our women's household arrange a quiet place for you to talk to. Lin Min hesitated for a moment and, under the hopeful gaze of Wang Ying, 
told him where Li Qingming was going to work. It was already afternoon, and Wang Ying immediately left the door. Chapter 7 Elopement with a Good Friend You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Gu family is located in the town, and it is very convenient to ride a bicycle to the machinery factory, which is only a dozen or so minutes away. Wang Ying took less than an hour to complete the round trip. She quietly told Lin Min that everything was taken care of and she would be taken out tomorrow. The next day, Wang Ying rubbed Wang Guixiang and said she wanted to take Lin Min out to relax. Wang Guixiang wanted to follow, but Wang Ying remained stern and said that when their sister Dot In Dot Law went out, her mother Dot In Dot Law followed like monitoring Lin Min, and Lin Min would be unhappy. Anyway, Everyone can see Lin Min's performance at home, and they know it's impossible to keep her from going out. In theory, on the third day of marriage, one should return home, but Lin Min didn't mention her family at all, so they naturally didn't mention it. Wang Ying took Lin Min out of the village and on the street, he took her directly to the location agreed upon with Li Qin Ming yesterday. A corner behind the waste station in Zendangtu. A foul odor permeated the air. Wang Ying pinched her nose and saw that Li Qingming was already waiting there. She quickly pushed Lin Min over. I'll wait for you at the street corner, go ahead quickly. Lin Min walked over, while Wang Ying stood in the corner and secretly looked at them. Li Qingming was wearing a cement grey work uniform, and when he saw Lin Min coming over, he looked a bit uneasy. Lin Min, are you okay? He touched his nose and asked. Lin Min felt waves of hatred rolling in her heart when she saw this man. Damn it! She restrained her emotions and sneered, what do you think? At this point, I don't know what to say. This is the ticket I bought for you. Tonight, you can leave now. Li Qingming took out a ticket from his pocket. Train ticket. Are we leaving today? But... Lin Min deliberately glanced in the direction Wang Ying was waiting for, and her tone was raised. What are you shouting? Li Qingming looked around with sly eyes, afraid of being discovered. Wang Ying heard Lin with Min's words, she saw Li Qingming's alert expression again, curled her lips and smiled, then left satisfied. Well, she's blocking here, how else can she leave? Lin Min noticed Wang Ying's figure walking past the corner of the wall, and her face instantly turned cold. In an instant, he looked at Li Qingming with a dark gaze. Do you want me to leave? She spoke coldly. Li Qingming didn't pay attention to her emotional changes. I've thought about it, this is the only way. You go to the south, where there are many job opportunities. You find a job and start a new life. Are you going with me? Lin Min retorted. I, I can't let go of the work here for now. My uncle finally arranged for me to enter the factory. If my parents know I'm leaving, they will definitely get angry. You go first, and we'll meet again when there's a chance. Lin Min looked at him sarcastically and said, Can't we let go of your parents and work, or can't we let go of Lin Jiao? Lin Min, I. Thank you for your train ticket, but I don't need it, Lin Min tore it apart and threw it in his face. In his past life, it was like this. When Li Qingming learned that she had married a person with a physical disability, he gave her a train ticket to help her escape from the sea of suffering. And at that time, she thought it was Li Qingming who was going to elope with her, but without hesitation, she left with him. However, Li Qingming only gave her some money and sent her on the green train heading south alone. To be honest, she was still grateful at the time. The first time she went out, as soon as she got off the train, she was tricked into getting on a van with a recruitment flag. Then, when she woke up, the car was already on a bumpy road. She finally felt no that's right, using the restroom to escape. She was chased by the group to the cliff and eventually fell off. Life should not be cut off, saved by the master who picked herbs at the foot of the mountain. Later, she found out that after she was gone, the Lin family first questioned Li Qingming, who had previously talked to her. 
Li Qingming couldn't resist the pressure and told the Lin family about sending her to the green car. Then, her so dot called mother immediately contacted the daughter in the city who had exchanged identities with her and sent someone to wait for her at the train station. He tricked her into getting into the car. Their goal is to control her and never let her enter the city. You. Li Qingming was stunned by her actions and didn't expect Lin Min to give up the opportunity to escape. Yesterday, Lin Min's sister Dot in Dot Law came to him and said that Lin Min hoped he could take her far away. He tossed and turned last night, staying up all night. It's impossible to take her far away. Considering that they have only been together for a short month, he doesn't want to sit idly by. The key is that if he becomes acquainted with Lin Jiao in the future, Lin Min will be his aunt, inevitably meeting each other and causing embarrassment. After careful consideration, he felt that letting Lin Min leave here would be good for both of them. So in the morning, he went to the train station to buy her a ticket and wanted to quietly see her off. This is the only thing he can help her with. Also helping himself. Li Qingming thought Lin Min was having a tantrum with him, so he patiently said, Lin Min, I know I'm sorry about my relationship with Lin Jiao. But now is not the time for you to have a tantrum. Do you know what it means if you tear up this ticket? Do you really want to spend your whole life with that disabled person? Pop. A hard slap hit Li Qingming's face. She stared fiercely at him and said, Pay attention to your wording, my husband, it's just a temporary injury. Besides, even if he's physically inconvenient, he's stronger than you scumbag, do you hit me? Give it back to my husband. Li Qingming was stunned. Are you sick? In order to resist the marriage, she broke her forehead and suddenly called out to her husband. Do you need to pretend like this? As he looked at her in shock, Lin Min slapped him in the face again. This slap is for the foolish Lin Min from before. Don't let me see you, scumbag, again in the future. After Lin Min finished speaking, she shook her painful hand and gracefully turned around to leave. Li Qingming covered his face and stood in the same spot, watching Lin Min's departure. It took him a while before he regained consciousness. Is this stupid woman crazy? How could you not cherish such a good opportunity to escape? Still calling that disabled person husband. Even slapped him because he called the person disabled. If he didn't feel guilty about cheating on her sister, how could he take the risk of being discovered by the Lin family and come to deliver her a train ticket to cover her departure? I don't know what's good or bad. Li Qingming covered his face and returned to the factory with gloomy eyes. Wang Ying escorted Lin Min to the agreed location and even saw the train ticket in Li Qingming's hand, as well as the two of them being wary of her eyes. She was certain that Lin Min would definitely leave with Li Qingming. She wandered around the street in a good mood, bought some snacks for herself, and then hummed a song and walked home. She has already figured out the words to say when she gets home. She said she was feeling unwell and went to the restroom, but Lin Min took the opportunity to run away. Anyway, she is pregnant with a child from her family, and they dare not do anything to her. She just can't stand Gu Jingchuan marrying other women. After Chapter 8 let your sister dot in dot law take care of you. You are listening at novel full dot audio. She just couldn't stand the way everyone in the Gu family tried to please her in order to keep her daughter dot in dot law. She is a pregnant woman and has never received such high treatment. Lin Min didn't rush home either. She strolled to the restaurant where Gu Jingxiu worked. She wants to see, Wang Ying, that woman. What will she do when she goes back today? Gu Jingxiu is 18 years old this year. After graduating from junior high school, she did not continue her studies. Now serving plates at a beef noodle restaurant in town. Based on memory, Lin Min found the old horse beef noodle restaurant on Jinbei Street. The noodle shop was very small, with only Gu Jingxiu as the waiter. As soon as she entered, she saw her collecting dishes and wiping the table. Jingxiu, Lin Min stood at the door of the noodle shop and called out to her. 
Gu Jingxiu was surprised when she saw the woman entering the noodle shop and said, Second sister. In. Law, why did you come? She smiled and said, My sister. In. Law and I came to the street to buy things, but we got separated. I heard you work here, and I wanted to wait for you to finish work and go home together. Gu Jingxiu heard that Lin Min had come to find her voluntarily. When she finished work, she was a bit flattered and said, Second sister. In. Law, I'll get you a bowl of beef noodles to eat. I'll be off work at 5 p.m. this afternoon. Let's go back together. Okay, Jingxiu, I have money here. Lin Min took out a 5 yuan banknote from her pocket. Second sister. In. Law, I work here. What money will you pay? It will be deducted from my salary. For the sake of her second brother, Gu Jingxiu felt that even if Lin Min ate all of her salary, she would be willing. As long as she can truly bring joy to my second brother and make his legs better. Lin Min came over for the first time, but Gu Jingxiu insisted on treating her. She didn't hesitate and said, Okay, I'll listen to you. Lin Min sat on the chair, and after Gu Jingxiu took the dishes to the kitchen, she ordered two thin bowls. Second sister. In. Law, do you eat spicy food? She shouted from the window. Eat more spicy seeds and more garlic sprouts, Lin Min shouted towards the window. Not for a while, Gu Jingxiu brought her noodles. Lin Min was eating slowly, while Gu Jingxiu was working and had already passed her meal. There aren't many people in the noodle shop, and the two of them are talking haphazardly. Lin Min could tell that when Gu Jingxiu spoke to her, she was careful and respectful. Afraid of making her, this great Buddha, unhappy. Lin Min didn't care either, her tone was calm and gradually. Gu Jingxiu also let go and started talking to her more. At this time, the Gu family can be described as flying chickens and dogs, and people are flipping around. After buying some snacks on the street, Wang Ying mentioned his mother's family who lived on East Street. After finishing with her own sister and a few others, she leisurely strolled back home. After arriving at the door, she pulled out her hair and pinched herself, squeezing out two tears as she felt the pain. Don't forget to grab a handful of soil from the ground and apply it to your brand new blue lapel jacket. Feeling embarrassed enough, she curled her lips and smiled, changing her face faster than taking off her pants, and wailed as she entered the house. Wang Guixiang, who was washing clothes in the yard, heard a mournful cry coming from the door and quickly turned around. I saw my eldest daughter dot in dot law walking in, crying in embarrassment. Ingzi, what's wrong with this? Wang Guixiang looked behind her and saw her crying as she walked in alone. An ominous feeling rose in her heart, Ingzi, where are your siblings? Wang Ying rubbed her eyes and remained silent, crying even harder. Where are people? Where have people gone? Wang Guixiang shouted anxiously. Sitting in a wheelchair sunbathing and reading, Gu Jingchuan's gaze also shifted away from the book, his eyes slightly wavering. Mom, it took me a while to use the restroom, but she disappeared. I searched the whole street and fell after several falls, I couldn't find her figure Wang Ying wailed, I'm sorry to you, I'm sorry to Jingchuan. Gu Jingchuan's face remained expressionless, unable to tell what was on his mind. He has been sitting here since noon, claiming to be reading, but in fact, he hasn't read a word since they left at noon. At this moment, watching Wang Ying wail and cry in front of him, although his face did not fluctuate much, his hand holding the book unconsciously increased its strength. She left. Wang Ying stood in front of Gu Jingchuan, crying tearfully. Jingchuan, I'm sorry for not keeping an eye on your wife, but it's not entirely my fault. She has that heart and will leave sooner or later. I heard that her good friend has a secret connection with her. That's enough. Gu Jingchuan was annoyed by her noise and pushed his wheelchair towards the house. Wang Guixiang said urgently, Jingchuan, you go into the house first. I'll go call your father and brother back, and we'll go find Lin Min. She shouldn't have gone far yet. Don't go. Gu Jingchuan spoke coldly and shouted at Wang Guixiang. Jingchuan, 
Don't do this. Bring her back. Over time, she will slowly accept you. Mom, if you go find her, you will lose my son, Gu Jingchuan said in a cold voice Wang Guixiang ran over crying and said, Son, don't do anything foolish. You listen to me. I'll go call your dad and them, and chase them back. Mom, don't let me say it again. He suppressed some emotion and spoke decisively, Okay, I won't look for her. After such a big incident, we have to call your father back. Otherwise, if he comes back tonight, he will definitely beat me up. Let's go to Lin Min's house to see. As long as we know she is safe, we can rest assured. Gu Jingchuan didn't speak anymore, and Wang Guixiang hurriedly ran into her own land. Gu Jinghui drove a four-wheeled car and Gu Dicheng were breaking corn inside, intending to use the car to pull it back. As soon as Wang Guixiang left, only Gu Jingchuan and Wang Ying were left at home. Gu Jingchuan pushed his wheelchair towards the house. The east room where he lives, for the convenience of his wheelchair, deliberately knocked down the steps and made a slope with concrete. He can push the wheelchair up and down by himself. Jingchuan, I'll push you into the house. Wang Ying's voice was soft and soft, completely different from the mournful cry just now. Her hands were about to get into the wheelchair when Gu Jingchuan chuckled, no need. Jingchuan, are you feeling very sad? Wang Ying's eyes were filled with malicious light, and her voice was eerie. Alas, this is all fate. When I came to your house for a blind date, I saw you as the person I liked, but you didn't like me. So you simply refused. If you had gotten married to me in the first place, maybe you wouldn't have suffered such a big disaster. The humiliation of being humiliated by Gu Jingchuan is still vivid in my memory. You used to be so proud, your heart was so high, your life was thinner than paper. Don't worry, your daughter Dotin Dot Law has run away. In the future, your elder brother and sister Dotin Dot Law will take good care of you. With us taking a bite, we won't be able to starve you. But you can't have this attitude towards me in the future. It's because your leg is broken, but your face is still quite durable. You should be gentle with me in your daily life, and I will definitely take good care of you. Wang Ying seemed to be out of anger, gloating and talking a lot. In the end, his tone became frivolous and promiscuous. Although those words themselves were not a problem, they seemed to have taken on a different meaning when spoken from her mouth. Get out, Gu Jingchuan yelled at her with his veins bulging on the back of his hand and his crimson eyes. You. Wang Ying was startled when she saw Gu Jingchuan's appearance. Get lost, he growled again. Chapter 9 Going to the Lin family for important people. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Wang Ying was frightened by his murderous aura, causing her body to tremble. She quickly closed her mouth and didn't dare to follow in again before returning to her own room. Gu Jingchuan just now was really scary. Although he often looked expressionless and cold, it was the first time she had seen him in such a terrifying way today, as if 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 she said one more word, he would kill her. Despite being a disabled person sitting in a wheelchair, it made her tremble with fear. Be afraid from the bottom of your heart. When Wang Guixiang ran to the ground and ran away from Lin Min, he told Gu Dicheng and Gu Jinghui who were breaking corn in the field. Recently, the Gu family has just relaxed their mood. Unexpectedly, Something like this happened suddenly, and Gu Diching collapsed on the ground, losing even the strength to stand up. His father, what should we do now? Jing Chuan won't let him pursue him, Wang Guixiang said with a tearful tone. Gu Diching's weathered cheeks were filled with helplessness, alas, the forced melons are not sweet, they are all fate of Jing Chuan. Wang Guixiang was unwilling and said, let's just forget about it. Our son Jean Luo is so small, in the end, let her run away like this. Since she's going to leave, let her go. We thought that offering good food and drink would help her, but Jing Chuan's body was lying there. Which girl would be willing to marry a disabled person? I don't want you to say that about my son. I remember before Jing Chuan got married, Jing Chi said a sentence. 
He said, instead of relying on the superstition of emptiness and emptiness, it's better to go find his second brother's company. Ku Jingchuan said he wouldn't let the troops go. He said he was accidentally injured and had nothing to do with the troops. Treating him in the hospital has already cost the country a lot of money, so he can't cause any trouble for the country. After Gu Jingchuan was injured, he was treated at a military medical hospital. Later, the doctor said that his body needed to be slowly healed, so he took him back home. Gu Jingchuan won't go into detail with them about the specific situation. If dad runs away, we need to get our dowry back. 3,000 yuan can't just be wasted like this. I'll drive a four-wheeled car and we'll go to Shanha village to find someone. What Gu Jinghui was worried about at this moment was not the loss of his second younger brother's wife, but the dowry he gave to the Lin family. Anyway, he couldn't just give the Lin family such a cheap price. All right, let's go take a look at her parents' house first. If we're missing, we always have to tell the Lin family. The Lin family is located in Shanha village, which is five miles away from the town and belongs to a remote rural area. Gu Decheng and Wang Guixiang got into the four-wheeled carriage, while Gu Jinghui drove the four-wheeled carriage that was supposed to pull Baogu to Shanghe village. The car was parked on the roadside, and a family of three hurriedly ran into the Lin family. Mom and Dad, there's someone at home. Lin Jiao was washing clothes in the yard when she saw the Gu family suddenly running in. She awkwardly said goodbye and quickly shouted into the room. If it weren't for Gu Jingchuan's injury, these people themselves should be her mother. In law's family. After all, it was Lin Jiao who regretted her marriage and changed people, and she was not very embarrassed to face the Gu family. But curious again, what are these people suddenly running around for? Upon hearing these words, Lin Jinshan and Li Chiumei came out of the main room and saw Gu Decheng and the others. They asked, In laws, in laws, in laws. Why did you come? Lin Min is missing, has she come back? Gu Decheng asked directly. Gone. Li Chiumei's face changed. In laws, what are you saying? The girl has already married your family and she is the one who cares about your family. What's our business if she's not seen? Are you still coming to our house to find someone? Li Chiumei quickly distanced herself from the relationship. Xiaomin, she didn't you come home Wang Guixiang was so anxious that she looked around their hall. No, she was tied up by my family and bound to your home. How dare she come back? Li Chiumei felt regretful. Why did you let her run away? When did she run away? Do you know where she went? Li Chiumei is worried about another matter and urgently wants to figure out Lin Min's whereabouts. Li Chiumei's reaction made Wang Guixiang very uncomfortable. If we knew, would we still come to your house? She and my eldest daughter dot in dot law went out on the street, but in the blink of an eye, they disappeared. Then you have to ask your eldest daughter dot in dot law, why did she come to our house? She hasn't come back. Gu Jinghui interjected eagerly from the side, since the person has run away, then you can refund the dowry to us. As soon as they heard that the dowry was to be returned, the Lin family's face immediately changed. After putting in a lot of effort to marry Lin Min over, I didn't want to return the dowry just because I didn't have the money. I kept going around, but why did I mention returning the dowry again? Lin Yongqiang the son of Lin Jin Shun, lazily walked out of the room and said, You guys are not reasonable anymore. We don't care if you want people, so it's good if we don't care if you want people. Do you still care if we want dowries? Lin Yongqiang rolled his eyes and said, If someone can't find us, you have to compensate us. Why should we compensate you? Our family wasted time and emotions in vain. In the end, we didn't get anything regardless of who you want the dowry from. Didn't you spend the money? Li Chiumei didn't care about the dowry and was worried about how to explain to her daughter in the city if Lin Min ran away and was not within their control. She complained angrily, you know she's making trouble, but if you don't watch her closely, then the girl is just a coward. After making a few mistakes, she will accept reality. 
what do you all do as a family? Relax your guard and take care of me instead. We need people. Gu Dicheng saw that Lin Jinshan had not let out a fart since they entered the door, and his wife was blocking the chatter in front of him. His face turned dark and he said, she said she understood and wants to live a good life with us Jingchuan in the future. These days have also been very normal, and we were only deceived by her. Wang Guixian also answered, she's just a girl who hasn't traveled far. Where can she go on her own? If she hasn't returned to her mother's house, there must be someone to pick her up. By the way, I remember Lin Min had a date before. What was his name and where was his home? Let's go find him together and ask him clearly. Anyway, you must give me an explanation for the Gu family. If you don't cooperate in finding someone, the dowry will be refunded. Gu Dicheng has a tough attitude and is not easy to fool. Lin Min's object. As soon as Gu Dicheng said these words, Lin Jiao's face suddenly changed. He wouldn't help Lin Min escape, let alone elope with him. How do you know? Gu Jinghui looked at her suspiciously. Because. Lin Jiao finished biting her tongue and dared not reveal in front of so many people that she and Li Qingming had already been hooked up. He no longer likes Lin Min. Anyway, take me to find that man. If he runs away, you must do something, otherwise we'll refund the dowry. Gu Diching felt like a mirror in his heart. The Lin family could never have refunded that money. The marriage was arranged a year ago for their second daughter, Lin Jiao. If it were a dowry of 3,000 yuan, that money would have turned into these three brick and tile houses in the yard. The whole family is lazy and lazy. If Lin Min cannot be found back, they can only accept it. But Gu Diching was not willing to be tricked like this, so he had a tough attitude and had to seek an explanation. Chapter 10 Crosstalk You are listening at NovelFull.audio Let's go, let's go. The group found Li Qingming's house. Li Qingming's face was marked red by Lin Min, and he was afraid of being laughed at by the factory staff. His heart was on fire, so he took leave and went home directly. This meeting with the Gu and Lin families, who bravely approached him and questioned him, made him even more angry, Qingming, Lin Min is missing. They insist that you are hiding, please explain and explain. Lin Jiao has special confidence in Li Qingming, after all, he has said all sorts of sweet words to her before. In front of her, he demoted Lin Min to nothing. At this moment, Li Qingming hesitated, I. He did indeed meet Lin Min and even threw her a train ticket. Since these people are coming to find him, they must have heard some rumors. How dare you say you haven't seen Lin Min today? Gu Jinghui glared at him and threatened him. Li Qingming's eyes flickered as he stung his neck and said, I've seen her before, but how could I hide her? Lin Jiao exploded upon hearing this and said, What, Li Qingming, have you ever seen Lin Min? You. And, by the way, what's wrong with your face? Who hit it? Jiao Jiao, don't misunderstand. She entrusted her sister Dot in Dot Law to come to me at the factory gate, saying that she insisted on seeing me. When I saw her, I just wanted to make it clear to her that I have no relationship with her from now on. How could I possibly take her away? Li Qingming, with a strong desire for survival, explained to Lin Jiao, sister in law. Whose sister in law? Li Qiumei immediately grasped the key point. It's the daughter dot in dot law of the Gu family, Li Qingming replied. Wang Ying. Gu Dicheng frowned slightly. How did it involve his eldest daughter dot in dot law again? Wang Guixiang spoke up, how could it be? Ingzi went out with Lin Min today. She came back on her own and said Lin Min ran while she was using the restroom. She was also in a mess. How could she have known that Lin Min was going to run? Li Chiume caught the conversation and said, You guys have an internal affair with the Gu family, eating inside and stealing outside. Now that we're gone, why are you asking for someone from us instead? We're not responsible for this matter. 
Gu Jinghui saw his father's face becoming increasingly ugly and quickly defended his wife, saying, Dad, Ingzi is not that kind of person. She must have been deceived. At this moment, Li Qiumei was also very anxious in her heart. Where would Lin Min's dead girl go? Li Qiumei's concern is not about Lin Min's safety, but rather, how should she explain to her daughter in the city? She exerted pressure on the Gu family and said, since Li Qingming is still at home, Lin Min must have run away. It must have been taken away by your daughter. In law. I tell you, if someone can't be found, our Lin family is not finished with you. Why don't you quickly find someone? When it came to his own daughter. In law, the Gu family suddenly lost their sense. Let's go home first and figure out the situation before proceeding. Gu Jinghui drove a four-wheeled car and pulled Gu Decheng and Wang Guixiang away from Shanghai village. Lin Min stayed at the beef noodle restaurant until Gu Jingxiu finished work at 5 p.m. The two bought a fish and walked home together. When Gu Decheng and others arrived home, it was already around 4 p.m., and there were only Wang Ying and Gu Jingchuan at home. Stay in your own rooms. Wang Ying was frightened by Gu Jingchuan and didn't dare to go out and provoke him again. She played the recorder and leisurely listened to the music. Gu Jinghui knew his wife's moral character, even though she had been trying to justify Wang Ying in front of his parents. But he knew in his heart that this matter was probably closely related to Wang Ying. Lin Min married in, but Wang Ying was neglected. She complained more than once or twice in front of him. As soon as Gu Jinghui stopped outside the gate in his four-wheeled car, Gu Decheng and Wang Guixiang ran into the house with great momentum. Wang Ying was lying on the Kong, shaking his head and singing along the music from the recorder, but he didn't hear the angry voices of his parents-in-law in the yard. Suddenly, the door was forcefully pushed open. Gu Decheng was already furious, unable to avoid suspicion, and went straight into his son and daughter in Dot Law's room. Wang Ying saw her usually kind and amiable parents-in-law, and now her face was like that of Bao Gong. She swallowed her saliva with a guilty heart. Dad, Mom, what are you doing? You're scaring me and the child in my belly, Wang Ying said, touching her belly. Gu Dicheng roared angrily, you don't have to do this. Your baby, who has been in your belly for over a month, is still a piece of meat. Where is Lin Min, he questioned. Wang Ying squeezed out two tears with a look of grievance and said, How did I know about me? She dumped me. I've been looking for her for a long time, but I can't find her. Gu Dicheng refused to accept this trick and said, Don't cry, hypocritical. Did you find Li Qingming and ask him to elope with Lin Min? Wang Ying's eyes flickered as she didn't expect them to go out and even find out. She simply pretended to be foolish and said, I don't know the person you're talking about. Don't know him. Don't know him. You go find him. Wang Ying was frightened by her father. In Law's terrifying expression and cried, saying, I was deceived by Lin Min. She asked me to send a message to that Li Qingming, hoping to see him once. Saying goodbye to her, I saw her sincere words and couldn't bear to refuse, so I gave her a message. I really didn't expect that man to elope with Lin Min. Tell me in detail what happened on the street today. We were shopping on the street, and then Lin Min told me to let me go waiting for a moment, she said a few words to Li Qingming and came over, but in the blink of an eye, both of them were gone. I searched the entire street but couldn't find anyone Wang Guixiang sensed something was wrong and said, didn't you say that Lin Min was missing when you went home to use the restroom? I. Wang Ying's words were contradictory, and I didn't know how to tell a lie. Gu Jinghui stood up to protect his wife and said, All right, parents, don't question Ingzi. That woman didn't plan to live with me Jingchuan from the beginning, and what she has shown these days is also a false impression, just to let us relax our guard. Ingzi was being used by her. What's the use of your violence against her? Gu Jinghui's words plunged Gu Dicheng and Wang Guixiang into silence. That's right, maybe she had no intention of living with them at all, Jingchuan. Her obedient behavior was just a facade. 
Gu Dichun's cloudy eyes became even dimmer, as if he had accepted his fate. My heart sank to the bottom. I don't know what to do. Wang Ying had a deliberately frightened expression on her face, shrinking her neck and weakly saying, Dad, Mom. I'm sorry, I was too stupid to be fooled by Lin Min. After a while, Gu Dichun waved his hand and said, Well, it's not entirely your fault. Indeed, if Lin Min had the intention of leaving, he would have left sooner or later if he didn't leave today. Mom, we're back. At this moment, Gu Jingxiu's cheerful voice rang out in the yard. Wang Guixiang heard her daughter finish work and responded weakly, Oh. Gu Dicheng and Wang Guixiang came out of the western house with a limp expression. I plan to visit Gu Jingchuan and comfort him well. As soon as the old couple came out, Lin Buting saw Lin Min standing with Gu Jingxiu in the yard, holding a fish in his hand. The two of them widened their eyes in surprise.